Hello and welcome to the show with all the latest motor news. Alfa Romeo's awesome Alfa 8C Competizione supercar has scooped the award for best design of the year in Auto Express's 2008 new car honours. The announcement came after Auto Express readers voted the Italian 4.7 V8 head and shoulders above its rivals. Editor of Auto Express David John said only one car was ever going to win. Alfa Romeo's 8C Competizione simply blew the opposition away. Marketing director of Alfa Romeo Nicholas Bernard added it's fabulous to know that this supercar has stirred the emotion and unified car fans across the UK. It's the epitome of the Alpha Mark and will provide the design inspiration for future models. Significantly, many of the design cues from the Alpha 8C Competizione have been projected on Alfa Romeo's eagerly awaited Alpha Me 2, which has been dubbed the sportiest compact car in the world. Based on the popularity of its Cadillac CTS Sport sedan, General Motors is expanding its lineup to include the brand's first station wagon, the 2010 Cadillac CTS Sport wagon. The vehicle was unveiled during the Pebble Beach Concourse d'Elegance car show. These are the first ever views of the Chevrolet Cruze, Chevrolet's all new compact family car. On sale next spring, this four-door model is an entirely global car which will go on sale across all continents as one of Chevrolet's core new models. Its compact dimensions feature bold styling with an arching roofline, sloping rear pillars that give it a lean profile and a neatly styled rear deck providing upmarket good looks. At the front, the large sweeping headlamp units wrap around the nose of the car, while other design themes include a concave shoulder line, Chevrolet's trademark two-tier grille and a restrained use of exterior trim, giving it a solid, unfussy appearance. At launch, three engines will be offered, 1.6 and 1.8 litre petrol units, both with variable valve timing, or a 2 litre 150 PS common rail turbo diesel. The cruise heralds a new era for Chevrolet, which is set to be built upon even further over the coming months, with the introduction of even more new models, including the iconic Camaro. Peugeot is set to showcase its new hybrid concept car at the Paris Motor Show. The RC, whose full name will be revealed at the show, is a GT Coupe, which provides the missing link between the RC and concept cars revealed in 2002 and the 908 RC, one of the stars of the 2006 Paris Motor Show. Bringing together numerous stylistic, engineering and technological ideas into a single vehicle, the RC is also an accessible and versatile car with four doors, four seats and highly innovative hybrid architecture. Its aim is a very high level of efficiency both in terms of performance with its potential maximum power output of 313 bhp and minimal impact on the environment, CO2 emissions of 109 grams per kilometer in the combined cycle or zero in electric mode. And the new Lexus LS460 all-wheel drive will make its world premiere at this year's Moscow International Motor Show. The LS460's outstanding performance, sure-footed dynamic abilities and advanced active safety systems have been further strengthened by the addition of permanent all-wheel drive. The all-wheel drive system is a three differential configuration featuring a highly compact Torsen Limited Slip Differential LSD shared with the LS600H which distributes drive torque between the front and rear axles with a 4060 rear axle bias in torque distribution. The LS460 AWD will go on sale in the UK from early 2009. The first Honda FCX Clarity customers have taken delivery of their zero emission cars in California. Film director Ron Yerkser was the first customer to get the keys to an FCX Clarity, followed by actress Jamie Lee Curtis and her husband Christopher Guest. I really wasn't expecting it to be so luxurious, said Curtis. I love the interior layout, design and access to controls. It's user friendly and very modern. The FCX Clarity is Honda's next generation hydrogen powered fuel cell vehicle. Driven by an electric motor that runs on electricity generated by a fuel cell, the car's only emissions are heat and water. Its fuel efficiency is three times that of a modern petrol engine. That's it for this week's show. On behalf of all the team at Motor News, thanks for watching.